G'day boys and girls, it is your boy Temporary Citizen and today I'm bringing you something very cool. Uh, I've done a few budget stereo reviews now and today I'm reviewing this little box of goodness which is, as you can see, an Usman A8 Pro which is a supposedly wireless CarPlay and Android Auto budget stereo. So I think, I think they come just under $200 US delivered on Amazon, which is super bargain. Um, I've sent this one by Usman to review for full disclosure. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna install this in my 2013 RG Holden Colorado. And to do that, I've got this kit of goodness, which is an Aero Pro head unit kit for this specific vehicle. Um, the Colorado it also does Isuzu's as well because it's the same head unit. But the good thing about this is it gives me the fascia kit to fit the double DIN because that's a double DIN stereo. Uh, gives me the fascia kit and the wiring. And then I've also got this totally legit reverse camera. So it was another eBay purchase. So I think that cost me 15 bucks or something delivered. The uh, head unit install kit cost me about $170 roughly um, and then obviously the stereo would be costing you around $200, $250 depending on where you are in the world. Um, now the cool thing about this, right, give you a quick unboxing, it's uh, pretty bare bones packaging which is nice enough, I mean you're getting a budget thing so it's not like you want it to have all the money spent on packaging because I'd rather them make it cheaper and just give us what's actually in there. But so you've got a little packet of wiring goodies. Now it comes with this, just this basic, I think it's an ISO connector. So the, the actual one on the stereo is an ISO one, which is handy because you don't have to go from that to an ISO and then from that to your individual car. But it comes with all these blank ends. We're not gonna use them. That's part of what the kit we've got is. It's got a remote, get rid of that. Who's using a remote in the car? Uh, and then it's also got a mic for phone calls. Got some instructions here. Don't know if we're gonna use them or not. Let's see. Uh, and then obviously, money shot, you've got, I've already pulled this out to have a look, by the way. Um, so yeah, you've got, the, you've got that connection on the back, which is what I was talking about. So you've got that ISO connection, then you've got the inputs, so we've got a video one, which is what we're gonna use for the flippin' reverse camera. And then you've got your antenna uh, there. You got a dab one, but nah. And you have got the microphone input there. Then obviously we've got the front of the stereo. Oh, you can see yourself. Right there, hello. Uh, yeah, you got a dial, a home button, a little USB, and it's got a USB off the back. Uh, yeah, pretty basic touch screen. Yada yada yada. Hopefully it is actually wireless CarPlay, but we'll see. So that's all the goodies with that. I'll show you this reverse camera. So it's a whole heap of cheap reverse cameras on eBay. They all use like a, an old style video input. So that one will go there and then it's got this one for the power. So wire that up to a rear tail light. This bang from here through the car and into the back of the stereo should be pretty easy to do, hopefully. Um, very handy things to have in utes because they're long. Oh uh, yeah, and then in this wiring kit. Ah, kit on Christmas. So that came with the stereo as well. It's just a fascia spacer, but that doesn't fit it. You've got this, which replaces the stock stereo one, a little fascia bracket in there because it's slightly smaller. So that's how it's gonna look lovely. Uh, and then the wiring. So this is what I was saying. So it comes with this one, which is built for the, I think, I think that's what we need for our car. If not, it goes from this into this one. So this one might be, it, it comes with the connector bit. 
in case that's not what the one on the stereo looks like. These are those ISO connectors that I was talking about that go straight into the car. Am I in focus? Probably not. Uh, yeah, so these just go plug straight into the back of the stereo. Bada bing, bada boom. And then hopefully I might, well, yeah, we'll see. I haven't actually pulled the back of the car off. I haven't pulled the car off. Uh, so the car will either plug into this or it'll plug bang, bang, bang into that. And then I think there's steering wheel controls as a separate plug. So that'll plug into this little stereo control adapter and hopefully stereo controls work. It also comes with something for a mic, input a ground and keys. I don't really know what that's for. Um, so, and then also, I guess this must be if it's got a funky antenna thing, which maybe my car does, this will plug into that and then it'll go into this. So, don't know what that cord is. Power antenna. Maybe it's got that. I don't know, we'll see. Well, let's jump in the car, we'll pull off the old stereo and then hopefully this will plug us up and I'll give you a bit of a run through of how it all works. All right, so here we go in the interior. Now I've got the POV spec old radio on my Colorado. Um, but there's gonna be a whole heap of way better videos out there on how to install this. But basically, you're getting under here, you're pulling this forward, and then you're just removing all this. So you get the hazard switch there. Uh, so this will all come off, and then obviously that face will replace this bit and you stick it all back on. Um, there's not a whole lot of me filming this. It's not gonna be good content, and there's a whole heap of videos if you're trying to do that on an RG. Right, well, number one thing is she is dusty as all bloody hell. But I've pulled the old stereo out, and you just need to uh, hang on to the hazard switch out of there. And then here's your plugs. You've just got that one plug for the stereo, and you've got the antenna there. Um, now you've got some brackets here. Now this, this uh, kit comes with brackets that actually fit them. So you pull the screws out. You put one each side and you screw it in there and she's bloody right to go. Right, so the kit came with this harness, which it doesn't need. The only one you need is this one that goes bang into there and then these will plug straight into the stereo. All right, and there we are, she's finished. No, just kidding, that would be janky as all heck. But what I am gonna do, start her up. Oh, hello, we got power. Alrighty, so it's not playing this stereo now because I'm recording with my phone, but Android Auto wirelessly working. So first I just had to connect it with USB through here. Um, the back one didn't work, so that one maybe might just do power. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm probably not going to bother with that. I've got like a little charger here that's probably almost as good for giving me power. Um, but yeah, wireless works sick. So go through that. Now that it's all done, now I've just got to look at getting the uh, the reverse camera plugged through, and then we'll finish it all up. And it's, I'm I'm stoked. That's sick. That's really sick. Two hundred bucks. All right. So we've got it all wired up. We've got the reverse cam there. I've got to do that at a later date. Got the microphone in. The wiring harness, which just plugs straight in. Got this one hanging out for the um, hazard light. And uh, yeah, it's all. It's all going pretty swimmingly, so now I've just got to line up those brackets with these bits here. And then uh, line them up, bolt it in, face her on, and she's golden. And I'll show you how she looks like operating. Now one thing to remember is that the stereo doesn't come with any hardware, and neither does the fascia kit. So your car will have screws for this, um, in this particular one anyway. But uh, on the side of the stereo it's got an M five hole there so you can use m5 bolts to attach those brackets to it but this doesn't come with the the brackets or anything else it's super cheap so your best bet is to get a fascia kit for your car and then it should just hook right up but yeah we'll do that get it all schmicko Alrighty, and there we have it so we've got the fascia all installed and we've got the head unit looking beautiful right so go through ways I love using ways but I got Spotify now the resolution isn't super high on this but I tell you what 
it really doesn't need to be like that is perfect it looks super sleek um the voice controls work spotify play scarlet fire all right oh you've cut me off so that's cool spotify play scarlet fire To be fair, that never works. Um, yeah. So, you got all your Spotify stuff working. You got your other Google Maps. Now, I haven't tried it with Android uh, with CarPlay, but I'd assume it would work just as well. Uh, and so, the next job for me will be to wire up the reverse camera. That'll be another day. But yeah, I'm a, I am super stoked for this for the budget that this is. Wireless CarPlay, two hundred bucks US. And then you spend whatever money is required to get this this fascia kit, but it just transforms the whole look of your car. Uh, there's that last um, a Toto one I had was quite a bit bigger, obviously, but yeah, I'm I'm super stoked with this. Uh, so I've got a link in the description to this if you want to buy one yourself. All right, so the last thing to show you is a real time startup test. So if I put my keys in now, so it's just started up. So the loading screen, this thing beeps like crazy, which is annoying. So it does, it is a little slow to start up, but it's not the slowest in the world. Um, so now you've got that going, you just have to wait for it to pop up and say connect to Blake's iPhone. Like, right, here we go, Android Auto rather, not iPhone. Hit that, attaching Android Auto, and then she's golden. So, I mean, it always looks slow on camera, but if you're leaving the house, it's it's not too bad. Um, yeah, the audio is awesome. It's really loud. Got my little warthog there for Waze. Waze is absolutely the way to go with an Android stereo like this. Because what happens is when you go to Waze, it'll show you the speed limits and your current speed, which Google Maps doesn't seem to be doing on Android Auto. So that's a hot tip for anyone. Use Waze. It is sick. But this Usman Stereo, it is awesome. It's a big thumbs up from Temp Sits. So just as my final thoughts on the stereo, um, obviously it's very budget, right? It's it's pretty cheap. Uh, it's also a fairly low resolution screen, um, which honestly, for what I use it for, right? So my Spotify and Waze is mainly all that I use it for. I don't really need a high resolution one. So like, yeah, it would look a little bit prettier, if it was higher resolution, but and for the money that you're paying, like it really doesn't bother me that it's uh, it's low res. Like it's it's a good bargain piece. Um, yeah. So I've used it for a few days now, and it's been pretty good, man. It's uh it takes a little bit to to warm up. Like it takes maybe 10, 20 seconds to be connected and playing music, which isn't the biggest issue in the world. Um, I haven't got the reverse camera set up yet. So maybe resolution will be an issue then, but it's a fairly small screen. Um, yeah, the Waze works, Spotify works, but the, the speakers, it all sounds pretty good. So pretty much, I'll show you what I mean by... Uh, so if you see here, um, I don't know, it, it, it's hard to really see, but like you look in the mirror, uh, not in the mirror, you look in the menu, and you can just like, you can see pixelation and stuff, like it's it's fairly low resolution. Um, but yeah, man, wireless Android Auto for 200 bucks is absolutely mint. And then obviously for this specific car in your car, getting the wiring kits to, to hook it all up costs extra, but that depends on what specific car you've got. But yeah, I'm super stoked with it. Uh, the Usman A8, pretty mad, pretty mad. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace.